<laughs> Soon after it became apparent that Rodrigo Duterte would be the next president of the Philippines, he drove to a cemetery to visit his parents' tomb and wept. The display of emotion showed a starkly different man from the one critics have dubbed a butcher for advocating the murder of drug traffickers and other criminals. His campaign manager says the brash image, obscene jokes and outlandish promises were all strategies to attract voters. It's the uh, unorthodox style that actually caught the elector electorate's attention. And then after shocking and owing them, uh, he tapped on an emotional uh, feeling of frustration and anger. Results from a semi-official count gave Duterte an unassailable lead, thrusting him into national politics for the first time after 22 years as mayor of a major southern city. He captured domestic and international attention with speeches peppered with obscene jokes about sex and rape and for undiplomatic remarks about some key players in the country's politics, including Australia, the United States and China. China says it hopes to work with the Philippines' new government to resolve territorial disputes in the South China Sea. We indeed hope that the new government of the Philippines would meet China halfway, taking concrete measures to properly deal with the disputes so as to put the ties of the two countries back on the track of sound development. He has not articulated an overall foreign policy, but has described himself as a socialist wary of the U.S.-Philippine Security Alliance. He has also threatened to form a one-man rule if legislators in the Congress oppose him. Duterte has been compared to Republican presidential candidate Donald Trump for his propensity for inflammatory statements. Matthew Burgoyne, Associated Press.